Hello and what is going on today guys, Tom Cat here and welcome back to Off-Road Outlaws where we are going to be building Bigfoot. Now we're going to be using the single cab Ford OBS and I feel like it's going to be a pretty simple build now that we have the monster suspension and the new tire types and you know all sorts of different all sorts of different options that will basically contribute to this eventually becoming Bigfoot. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things out of the way first that are not in the customize area. Uh, they're actually in the upgrades area because we need to go ahead and get all of the engine power stuff sorted out, you know, all the way up to max on grip, power, weight, durability, all of that stuff maxed all the way out, all the way out. And then might as well install a handbrake. And I am actually going to put a blower on this one because... Normally I do uh, normally I do turbo, but I think for this one I'm going to go with a blower. So we'll get that done and then all of that stuff is like completely sorted out. As you can see the Cyber Mega is right over there, uh just kind of chilling. Just, you know, just chilling, just like, you know, waiting for its next move. Now, in terms of tuning, obviously we have to go ahead and do the monster suspension. And by the way, just so I can answer uh, a question about the heavy-duty axles, because um, I know that I had expressed in the Cyber Mega video that I wasn't quite sure what they did. Um, actually, according to the creator of the game, literally it is uh, two things. Basically, it um, it allows them to take more damage, like they're, they're a little bit stronger, and they're also just aesthetically, visually a little bit cooler. So if you want to retain a um, if you want to retain a certain suspension type, but you want it to be a little bit stronger, uh, just check the heavy duty box. That's literally all that they do. So let's go ahead and head over to the monster suspension in the front and the rear. And now once those are both installed, we can go and upgrade them. And that's all part of the process. So let's go ahead and upgrade them all the way and upgrade that all the way as well. And we're going to need full access width. And, well, mm, part of me says I don't, but I, I still feel like I'm going to need full access width in the front and the rear. I mean, it feels like you don't, but you it, it feels like you don't, but then you put the huge tires on and you realize you do. Um, I'm going to add in about, like, uh, 0.15 degrees of rear steer. And then damping, uh, I'm not going to mess with the damping too much. I'm going to leave the damping alone, actually. Stimulus, I'm going to bump up just a little bit. I think to about, oh god, that's like all the way up to like 50,000. Let's do, uh, let's do like 25. I know like on most trucks I do 20. Let's try 25 on this truck and see how that feels. Um, because I know that the damping affects the way the truck, I mean, it all affects the way the truck handles, but I think the damping affects it more than the stiffness. So let's go ahead and now head to, okay, travel is maxed out front and rear. No worries. It's very leg day skippy right now, but, and obviously we have to repaint the truck too, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade the wheel and tire package all the way. And once that's done... Once that's done, we're going to do the radius and the width. So, wham! Wham! <laughs> Just done. Done and done. So, let's see. Front. Boom. And boom. Okay. So, we need to obviously change up the tire types. But I feel like doing a double dually wouldn't really be that good of an idea. I mean, it's obviously like... It's obviously a possibility. But what I think I may do in terms of that is if I go to, um, if I go to wheels and tires, I believe, let's see, well, wheel radius, wheel width. Okay. No, it's in the other, it's in the other category. Okay. So with that being said, I'm looking at this right now and like, it's cool, but I think, I think the wheels themselves need to be a little bit bigger. I'm thinking like one, 1 1.2 is fine. They don't have to be gigantic, just maybe 1.2. Um, I feel like if we made them too big, it would look you know, pretty disproportionate, but let's go ahead and head to the dyno real quick. We'll get this thing set up perfectly, and we'll go ahead and give it a run and see what she makes. 705 and 529, and also, I, I feel like there's probably, I feel like there's probably a bit of, you know, there's got to be a lot of power loss with tires this big. I'm not sure if that's simulated or not in this game, but regardless, it's still a healthy amount of power. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and head to the actual visual customization um, part of the build. And we'll change up the visuals. We'll change up a couple of other things. But we really only need one main thing except for, well, there's different versions of Bigfoot, obviously. So I think for our version of Bigfoot, we're probably going to go with a... A fairly basic, um, fairly basic bumper setup. Nothing too insane, nothing too crazy. And then fender-wise, let's just see what we have available. I think, I think I actually like that. Um, and then cage, uh, that'll probably give us the roll bar in the back. Yep, that's it. That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, so now running boards, we need those. And roof lights, we really don't need the roof lights or the snorkel. Uh, the spare wheel, the spare wheel we don't really need because there's no way we're going to be able to carry around a spare that's like, that's even, you know, remotely big enough um, just in case we ever needed it. And then exhaust pipe wise, I mean, we could do, we could do the stacks on the side, but like, I don't know if it exactly applies um, to Bigfoot. I feel like it would just look a little bit cleaner if we didn't use them. Um, now again, this is not obviously exactly correct or anything. You know, it's, it's more of built in the spirit of Bigfoot than it is as an exact replica of Bigfoot. So paint wise, let's see, there's the light blue color, but I mean, oh, that's too purple. Um, that's way too purple. Let's try. That's pretty close. Um, let's see if we could get just a slightly darker version of that. Like, that's a little bit lighter. That's, that's, that's close enough. Um, that's close enough. The, the interesting thing is that we need to find a wheel type that works. And because Bigfoot over its many, you know, over the many different iterations. Yes! Yes! That's it! That's literally it. That's like the exact correct wheel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, do we want to beadlock it? I feel like if we beadlock it, that kind of deviates from the original look like a little bit more than I want to. So, let's do spoke color and just full on white. And we'll do full-on white for the front as well. Now it's actually starting to look a lot like Bigfoot. It's starting to actually... Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Now it's starting... Oh my god! What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! Okay, you know what? Maybe don't mess with that view. Okay, now it's starting to look a little bit like Bigfoot. So I'm gonna probably see... I wonder if there are any, like, wraps that... Mm, no... Really, no. There's really not anything that's sort of big, Bigfoot-esque. I mean, if we wanted to, you know, spend a bunch of time in there, we might be able to make something that's Bigfoot-esque. But I feel like we're pretty close. I mean, we just have to do... There we go. Okay. Now, we could do, like, double dually, but it, 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 cuts, into the, it cuts into the shocks, and it looks bad. Like, it just doesn't look right. So, let's see. We could do... These are these are a rock tire. These are a sand tire. And, like, these are definitely, like... Well, these are pretty good all-rounders. I mean, we could run those. We could... Or we could run these. These are more of a mud tire. Those are definitely more of a rock tire. Let's see. Let's run... Oh, God. Let's run these. Why not run literally the most expensive tire? Like, literally the most expensive possible tire we could run. Uh, stop going into the customization. Oh, my God. All right. Apply mods. And hopefully, we'll have our variant of Bigfoot. This thing is... This thing is pretty sick. Honestly, like... This thing, I really, really like. And not only do I really, really like it... But I can't wait to go mess around with it and try it out. All right, so let's go ahead and click play. And I want to head out to, let's see. I actually kind of want to head to the rock park because this thing is obviously like, while it is a monster truck through and through, it's got, you know, it's got some pretty solid rock, uh, rock tires on it. So I kind of want to see if it can apply that, like apply those capabilities um, to a proper like rock trail. But oh my God, I love it. I freaking love it. The thing is, the thing is awesome, actually. It really, it really resembles that, you know, that original Bigfoot look and feel. 
And I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there in the comments that's going to be like, It's not exactly Bigfoot! You can't call it Bigfoot! It's built in the spirit of Bigfoot, bro. Let's see if we can do this trail. Let's see if we can... Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Go. Alright, let's see what we can do. And... Go! Low range. Got it. It's capable. That's for sure. It's very capable. Go, 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 go. No! No! Oh, it turned me around. Oh, God. I'm not going to do well on this one. I guarantee you that now. That has got... Oh, God. This has gone badly. This has gone quite poorly. Oh, boy. Stop! I feel like I may need some work on the tune! I also feel like I want more, like, a little bit more degrees of rear steer. Yeah, a few more degrees of rear steer would be nice! Boy, it, can you, like, not go up the hill that way? Oh, my God. Go. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, finally! Thank you! Thank you, jeez! Let's go! And, okay, yeah. Like, a minute and 20 seconds. Yikes. Yeah, that was bad. That was really, 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 really bad. Let's try another trail, because I'm very curious to see if we could maybe... do a little bit better than that, because that was quite bad, and not a good showing uh, for Mr. Bigfoot here. The brakes suck. The brakes suck. Go! Not bad. Not bad. Really, bro? You hit the only tree in freaking sight. Like, come on. Bro, this thing is so heavy that the e-brake basically does nothing for it. Like, it's so heavy and the tires are so big that the e-brake does almost nothing. Got you. Got you. Come on. Yes, go, 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 go. All right, let's see. Trail runner, apparently. That's uh, copper, so like, you know, effectively third, I think. All right, let's hit one more and see what this thing's got in it. Down for another rock attempt. Oh, wait. Nine seconds is the record? Holy Jesus. Nine seconds? Go! She's definitely going to need some more tuning. I'll tell you that much. There you go. Nice and easy. Oh, it's sh super short, actually. Got him. 18 seconds, world record, le award level completion. Thanks. Gee, thanks. I mean, that's basically like, congratulations, you tried. Oh my god. It's actually, though, like, it's, it's a really fun rig, and I really enjoyed the build of it. And I definitely think there's more that I'll be able to do with it in the future. I mean, I definitely don't think this is the last time, you know, y'all are going to see this truck. But, I mean, was it a blast to build? I mean, yeah. This thing was hilarious to build. Do I think y'all should have a go at building one yourselves? Absolutely. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave it a like. Be and also, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And also, if you have any suggestions, leave them down there as well. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.